Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Windows games through the GOG storefront so that you can run them through Crossover, which is a compatibility layer for Windows games so you can run them on your Mac. So GOG is quite advantageous compared to something like Steam. If you buy or install a game on GOG, then it's DRM free. It doesn't require a third party launcher, so it doesn't require an internet connection and it doesn't require you to, to log in every single time you want to play the game. So this is ideal for, especially when we're trying to run a game through a compatibility layer. So today I'm going to show you how to to set up crossover to do this. If you haven't set up crossover already, then please make sure to check out my video tutorial on how to get crossover working. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Please make sure to click the affiliate link at the top of the description of this tutorial video or of this video itself, and you'll be taken to the crossover website. If you scroll down here and you click buy now, if you use the coupon code Apple Gaming Wiki and press the arrow button here, you'll be able to get 25% off your purchase price. You can also click the try now button and you'll get a fully featured 14 day free trial. All you need to do is to enter your name and email address and you'll be able to receive this trial software. Once you've downloaded the software, just double click on your crossover zip, which is going to be in your finder under downloads, and then you'll be able to extract this application. Then all you need to do is to drag and drop this into your applications folder here, and then you will have installed this application. So under applications, we're going to double click on crossover. And what I have here is a fully featured crossover bottle already. So I've already done some setup already, but we're going to start from a new bottle from scratch. So in the bottom left hand corner here, I'm going to click on new bottle. And ideally what we're going to do is create a Windows 7 64 bit. I personally found this the best compatibility, especially for kind of older games too. Here we're going to call this one GOG.com where we're going to install our GOG games. Here we're going to press create. So once our GOG bottle is created, we're going to add a couple of things just to make it more compatible with games. Here we're going to click install the Windows application. We're going to type the word DirectX and we're going to install DirectX for modern games. Press continue. Make sure that we select the GOG.com bottle that we've created and press continue and click install. Click yes here, click accept, click next, next, and then we can click finish here and then done. And so once we have DirectX installed, the other thing that we should probably do is to enable DXVK. So this will allow DirectX 10 and 11 games to run correctly. So here we're going to control click on the bottle. So control click, go to settings, and then make sure that DXVK backend for D3D11 is turned on. So basically those two things are going to give you the most compatibility for games. So next thing is going to be to actually buy and download games. So please make sure to check out the link in the description. If you do make a purchase after clicking the link, then I'll receive a small cut and you'll be helping to support the channel and the work that I do. So so here we're going to download the game Star Trek Elite Force 2 and uh, what we're going to find is that you're going to have the option to download with GOG Galaxy. Unfortunately this is not compatible with Crossover so what we're going to do is to download the offline game installer. So if you can't see this you can just click on this arrow here and that will reveal this link here and sometimes you'll find multiple links. If it's a game that's quite large then they'll have multiple entries so you just need to download all of them. Here I'm just going to download Star Trek Elite Force 2. If you have multiple files you can put them in the same downloads folder and then we should be able to install them once they're done. So we're just going to download this one gigabyte file and let that complete. So once that downloads complete, we're going to go to Finder and then we're going to go to our downloads folder and we're going to find our Star Trek Elite Force installer here. So what we're going to do is to open up our crossover again and we're going to select our GOG bottle here. Then we're going to double click run command and then making sure that we have the GOG bottle, we're going to click browse and then we're going to go to our downloads folder. Then we're going to select our Star Trek Elite Force 2 application here, which is the installer. Here we'll click open and then we're going to click run. Then we're going to click OK here and then I'm going to click yes, I have accepted the end user licensing agreement and then click install. So once that's installed, we're going to click the launch button here. And now this game is fully playable. I know that this video is not launched correctly but uh, what I'm gonna do is get into the main settings once I've skipped past all these cutscenes. Then we can go ahead and configure the game correctly so that we've got the right uh, resolution and aspect ratio. So in a game like Elite Force 2, which kind of came out in the 4x3 aspect ratio era, it might be quite handy to check the actual PC Gaming Wiki entry. This leads us to this widescreen gaming forum entry. So it asks us to edit the INI to change the resolution. What we can do is just apply this fix. So I'm just going to show you how to do this now. This is going to be quite common, especially for older GOG games. What we can do is go ahead and edit the configuration file within the actual Elite Force 2 folder. So what we do is control click on GOG.com, open C drive. So this is going to show us the C drive of this actual bottle. Then we're going to double click here. We're going to find our Elite Force 2 folder. We're basically going to navigate to this path, Elite 2, Base, and then crossover.cfg because the username for this bottle is always crossover. Here we're going to control click and open with text edit. Basically we're going to add this set of resolution commands. So it's asking us to paste this under CVARs. I'll add a line here and then control click and then paste. 
and then I'm also going to change the resolution here, change it to 1920 by 1080. I'm actually going to make sure to quit out of this game first, and then I'm going to press save here, file save, save anyway. Okay, so this is the text edit is the last thing that's overwritten that. Then we can double click and get into Elite Force 2. So now we've got the full widescreen aspect ratio configured correctly. So we're in, it's not saying 1920 by 1080, but it is in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio now. If I go to and press a new game, I'm just going to show you how this works. So this game is now loaded correctly. It's uh, it's an older D3D9 game, I believe. So it's actually not worked running that fast, but it does work correctly on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac on the M1 Max chip. The other issues that you might face is that you might want to have a GOG game that you've got in a folder. You can always run command in the same way. The actual files don't need to exist within the bottle. They can be anywhere on the computer. So if you have a Windows computer that has a GOG game that's fully installed, you can just copy it over or run it directly from there and that will work correctly. You can also do things like find other games. So for example, I've got this Diablo game here. If I wanted to run this particular game, but it's not as a shortcut here, we can go ahead and click open here. We have the option here to save command as a launcher, and then it's gonna appear in this box here. And then you can launch that game from the shortcut whenever you like in the future. So this brings us to the end of the video. If you found this video useful and you want to be able to play games through Windows, through crossover in the future, you can follow the steps in this tutorial. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.